Hi everyone, my name is Tim and you're welcome to another edition of Smelly Sweet. Today's video we're going to talk about Kiali Vanilla 28. It is a very feminine fragrance but boys before you, you shut me down, hear me out, this could be an excellent gift for your loved one, excellent Christmas, Christmas presents, Valentine's gift, birthday gift or if you just want to surprise her on a Friday evening then Vanilla 28 by Kiali is the one to choose. But only pick it if you really, really trust your girlfriend, your wife, or whatever you prefer, because boys will be drooling after her. It is a head turner, so when she passes by, the sillage will make people turn their heads. Now, let's get uh, some of the boring stuff out of the way, the presentation. You have the box, it is a diamond-shaped, diamond-inspired box. On the back side of the box, you do find some key ingredients. This is vanilla orchid, tongue capsule, brown sugar, amber roots, musk. But it also contains, I believe it contains three different vanillas. It contains some jasmine, it contains some patchouli. So all those supportive notes are mentioned. The most important notes are mentioned on the back side of this one. But head over to Kayali's website and you do find the, all the ingredients listed on their website. So that is the box. I think the box is quite good box, quite nice shaped box, and it has a quality feeling to it. Let's say that. Now the bottle itself, let's just wipe off some other fingerprints. <laughs> the bottle itself is also shaped like a diamond. Uh, the cap, as you can see, also has the diamond shape. So that is well thought through presentation well thought through bottle design and the bottle design is inspired by the bottles that you do find in uh, Dubai and all the markets all from from the cheap stores to the more expensive stores use those kind of, of bottles uh, with glass bottles through seat through bottles all inspired a little bit about diamonds so that is the boring stuff now let's talk about the, the more interesting stuff the juice itself now I've read so many reviews, I've been researching this, I've watched some reviews on YouTube and uh, reading some reviews on Fragentica and some other sites and people seem to have very very different experience with this fragrance. Some people just get the amber and musk, some people think it is all about brown sugar, some people think it is just vanilla bomb, vanilla extract in a bottle. So I do Feel, I do get that it is something you need to, to try on skin before you buy it but I would like to say it doesn't matter because I bought this without trying it on skin and that was simply because I sprayed it on a paper strip coming home smelling it and it just took me back to my childhood the Belgian bakery feeling so delicious so I said I buy this I don't care try it on skin if I don't like it on skin I can Spray it on a paper, put it in my pillow, <laughs> smelling it all day, every day I'm sleeping. <laughs> so, but luckily enough, when it came home, it actually smells very good on both me and my wife. But there are some small differences, because on me, both, both on me and my wife, the brown sugar really kicks in from start, but it doesn't last, that feeling doesn't last as long as on my skin as it does on my wife because on my skin the floral notes come through the jasmine and believe it is the vanilla orchid comes through really really strong and that makes it a bit more feminine but i don't care because i still think it smells amazing so i still i just stand that very floral feeling i get for an hour or so then the florist starts to die off and that vanilla creamy feeling comes through and I just love it. Now let's say a bit about how it performs or how it reacts on my wife's skin. The brown sugar stays very prominent on my wife's skin for, for 45 minutes to an hour before it, the vanilla kicks in and takes over more and more. The florals on my wife's skin is very very subtle. They are, are very toned down on my wife whilst on my skin they really come forward. That is the big difference on this fragrance on me and my wife. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. So longevity wise, it is up to, to 10 hours minimum. Uh, C 
sillage, you do get a great sillage for, for four hours, I would dare to say. But then it really quickly becomes a skin scent. But I mean, that is so good, so I can't be bothered about it. <laughs> I use it a lot. Uh, and from the end, it, the ambers and the musk aren't that prominent on neither me or my wife. It is more about the vanilla and how that reacts, but it, it, the van amber seems to just add a bit of that warm feeling to it. A warm oriental feeling. This one never gets syrupy, this one never gets cloying, it is, the vanilla is airy, light, fluffy. So that is my take on this fragrance and, and the notes. I will now try, if you will stay that long, I have something special for you guys. I will now try and demonstrate this fragrance, how I feel this fragrance is, or how I think I live this fragrance, so to speak. From start, I made a kitchen day yesterday, so I made myself a nice soft sponge cake. Uh, that is a feeling I get out of this one nice airy fluffy sponge cake i put in some vanilla extract which you can see on the picture of and on this video obviously but i also have some some stuff to to enhance that creamy airy feeling that it gives you and that is to add some whipped cream as you can see so that is a creamy airy creamy airy feeling fluffy feeling I also have some brown sugars that I can pour on just because there is the brown sugar note and that is very prominent on it. So we'll now try and show without. So there you have the brown sugar on the whipped cream. And then obviously you will finish this one off with adding some nice berries to it because it is about layering. This fragrance is made especially for layering, so I already tried to layer it with Creed Aventus and that gave me, really gave me the, the feeling of a pineapple pie <laughs> fragrance. No, but I also tried to layer it with my wife's Parfum de Mali Meliora. So that is, <laughs> I hope don't fall now, that is what I get about this fragrance. So damn good to delicious. To spray on top on any fragrance. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's good. Oh man. So simple, but yet good and interesting and delicious. That is all it takes. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give a thumbs up. If you've been this long, haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? And comment down below which one is your favorite Keali fragrance. Until the next time, stay safe and be well. Bye!